you know, it's, it's going to be, you know, something that you do later. And he says, this is where a lot of smart engineers fall into this trap of trying to optimize something that shouldn't exist. <laughs> too, right? Well, it's if, tunnel if vision. You, yeah. If, if you didn't delete something that shouldn't exist, don't try to optimize it. Right. Yeah. You know, if it shouldn't I agree exist, with you. It shouldn't exist, so. uh, but that doesn't, that takes more of a manager or a director mindset than an engineering mindset. You have to look at the big picture, which I mean, there's big picture people that are stupid and full of crap, but at the same time, yeah, there's, you kind of, you got to kind of be willing to switch, right? You got to be willing to look at it from the 30,000 foot view and then, and then zoom in and, and be right there and, and vacillate because neither one is hundred percent right or good for every single circumstance. Yeah. So I've always liked, um, that's why I love one of the things that I do is, you know, as, as a hardware designer, I also try to take the approach of the systems designer, like where does this hardware play into the system? And so that when someone is asking for, you know, how do I do this? You, I can give a more educated response back because if I'm aware of the system, then I'm aware of maybe they going back to that other step, you know, maybe they didn't give me the right requirements or maybe they're, they're understating or overstating what they need that I can propose an alternate solution. Um, so that's always, I like, you know, that's, I like when I'm working with people that also have that same viewpoint capability where they can, they know not what just to optimize, but how let's just look at this from a different angle and start all over again. You know, don't optimize something that shouldn't exist. Agreed. Um, so I think that's kind of a cool thing. Common, and I've had to pull people out of that trap. I mean, I'm sure you have too, given what you do, where you see somebody optimizing something that you know maybe doesn't need to exist and you're like you know dude come on like or you know like come on definitely at the bigger firms and i would say and you probably you know with your all your guests that have been in startups when when you're in a startup there's a lot less of that believe it or not. even in a startup though, i think you get trapped sometimes like you know it's i think it's when you get laser focused on something it's kind of a mental exercise right you're just like i need to optimize 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 and you go down the line, and you're just trying to optimize every point, but you're going about it sort of from the pipeline of the existing process rather than looking at, you know, the, the systems level. And you're like, okay, the system is stupid. <laughs> if I eliminate the step, then, you know, maybe I can optimize something that actually needs to be there. And then that's a good optimization. And so, yeah, I, I've, I've caught myself quite a few times um, doing an electrical circuit schematic, adding in extra little, oh, it'd be good if I can test this or put this mode in or provide this option for software, even though they didn't ask for it, I'm going to give it to them. Yeah. And then getting to the point awesome. later on where I realize, I think I'm doing a little too much for them. Let me pull this back out. This is getting too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> like, so you're gonna be awesome. sometimes. 